guys, Sandy here, and today I am going to be scrapbooking one photo of a jack-o'-lantern that my daughter had carved in 2017. And I have a sheet of basil marshmallow cardstock, a couple smaller sized sheets of paper, and then I also have some Distress Oxide and Blueprint Sketch, Carved Pumpkin, Faded Jean, and Spiced Marmalade. And fun thing I'm doing today, I reached way back, way back into the Crafty Maven's inspiration um, pieces. And I found this one. And just look at those beautiful colors, those navies and oranges. Oh, I'm in love with them. So I believe this is like a 2015 one. So this one's pretty old, but I love the color combination. I have these great Distress Oxides, which I think go great. So let's see what I can do. The first thing I do is grab my Distress Inks and, or my Distress Oxide Inks. Uh, very important distinction there because these suckers oxidize in water. And I'm just kind of smearing them all over the paper here and I'm keeping the two orange colors together and then I'm going to put on the two blue colors and I know that if I mix them together they're going to create a green color and I'm okay with that. I definitely think fall and pumpkin photos can stand a little bit of green in them. If I wanted to do this separately like keep the colors from blending, I would have done them in sections and dried each section in between. T totally not wanting to do that now. Totally wanting to get this layout done. So I spray a crazy amount of water on top of these oxides. And then I just hold my paper up so that the water is coming down. And you can see where the blue and the orange mix and created the green color. And like I said, totally okay with green colors for pumpkin photos. So now I'm just going to clean this up just a little bit, get all of this water up away from my area. I've learned my lesson before not cleaning it up right away. And then I decide that I'm going to go ahead and dab off the top layer of wetness off of this paper. And that's actually going to pull some of the brightness of the color off as well. And like I said, I'm okay with it. Like, I like the way this looks. I like the splotchy colors. I like the subtle blending. I'm down with it. Totally, totally cool for me for a background. So I have these, uh, not, these aren't photos, these papers. Um, some of the papers came in a Love from Lizzie card kit. Uh, some of them are, this blue one is from A Simple Story 6x8. I think it's Domestic Bliss. Not exactly sure, though. So I'm just creating this as the base of my layout just to get something down on the page to build my photos. And I decided to go ahead and use two photos on this layout. I had originally planned on having one layout for one jack-o'-lantern and one layout for another one because they were created by my daughters. But then I realized I've already scrapbooked like three or four pictures of the pumpkins and the process of carving the pumpkins and the pumpkins sitting outside on the porch. So I was like, I'm getting a little bit crazy with the amount of layouts I'm scrapbooking for these two particular pumpkins. So I'm going to combine it. So that's where my thought process came for that one. I went into my cardstock and just used a kind of like a yellowy orange. And that color mixes and matches pretty well with the background. Now I'm pulling out this Coco Vanilla Studio die cut pack and I knew I wanted that orange ampersand. I had seen this earlier when I was flipping through my supplies and I was like, this is going to be perfect. Um, I thought originally that I was going to be naming this layout something about Chloe and Lana's pumpkins and I definitely needed that ampersand to do that. However, I totally did not end up naming that layout Chloe and Lana's pumpkins. I found this little polka dot die cut piece. I believe it has come from one or another fancy pants die cuts packs. And I really liked it because the polka dot matched. Like who knew? And then I'm going to try some leaves. I figured I brought green in when I mixed the orange and the blue distress oxides. And I thought maybe a little bit of green would, you know, would be okay. 
And then I tried out these leaves, and these are pretty old, and they're from Basic Gray, and they, I just, eh, just wasn't, wasn't going for me. So I flipped through a bunch of supplies and just pulled out anything that looked good. That's, I didn't, that's what I do when I don't have, like, a set thing in my head of what I want to do. I don't have a real direction that I want to go. So I just flipped through my things and pulled them all out. And I decided that I was going to name this layout Create and Enjoy. And I ripped the thickers for Enjoy. I ripped a couple things when I was creating this layout. And I am not the kind of person where I will throw it away or get another one. Unless it's totally ripped beyond recognition and it's not going to work. There's no way I can finagle it to work on the layout. Then, then I'll, you know, toss it and try something else. But... No sense in me tossing those Enjoy Thickers. No sense whatsoever. So I'm layering right on top of my photo because I do have some blank space. It's the counter. And I am totally cool with that. I know that there are people out there that don't let anything touch their photos. And hey, if that's the way you want to scrapbook and that's the way you want to preserve your photos, more power to you. Me, like I said, I've scrapbooked these pumpkins a bunch of times already. I'm okay with it. Now, originally I had thought, okay, I'm just going to throw these little pieces down. And they're really old from KI Memories, like really old because the blue matched. I was like, this is fantastic. And then I'll just layer some things over it. And you'll see that changes ever so slightly. So I'm just going through these sticker sheets. Anything I pulled is because of a color or a shape. So these little banners up here, I definitely pulled for the color. That dark blue, love it. Popped it up there with the kind of a, um, kind of like a khaki old newsprint type thing. Totally cool with it. Now I'm just flipping through some things and I find a sticker that says the best of times and then also one that says now is the time. And I really enjoy words. I really enjoy decorating with words and playing words off of each other so I thought that was a good thing to do and then this says love this and I knew I wanted to layer it over top of the banner so I just moved the banner down ever so slightly and stuck that sticker right on top of the banners and I'm like yep that's perfect it brings the lightness of the white and the darkness of that navy blue up at the corner and I couldn't be happier with it totally digging it now these are some Studio Calico, uh, what are these little suckers called, labels in orange. And I'm just putting putting it up there just, just to give it a little bit of extra oomph uh, besides the square of the paper up there. Just to give it a little bit of extra shape. Now here I thought I was going to bring in this little berry on a branch sticker. The colors were good. No, it was not good. I mean, you guys just saw it. So I pulled that off of there and was like, nope, nope, nope. Then I decided to pull that off because I wasn't feeling it. And I started to rip the paper. So I was like, nope. And stuck that sucker right bone back down. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to pull this off anyway. I don't really like what's going on right there. So instead of working right there where I just pulled off that thicker or that KI Memories chipboard piece, I'm like, no, I'm going to go back up here and work for a little while because that's the way I scrapbook. I'm kind of all over the place. Now I'm pulling out some puffy stickers and all of those puffy stickers on that paper are not the same company. They're not the same brand. They weren't purchased at the same time. I just kind of combined a bunch of puff puffy stickers onto one thing uh, because I'm I'm a down with packaging type girl and the less packaging I have, the more I can fit into my room. And really that's the honest truth. Like less packaging means I can fit more supplies in my place. So these are some wood shapes and they came from the Target dollar spot. I believe I bought them last year when they went on clearance. So that sucker, you know, went down to 70% and I made it mine. Now the adhesive is so stuck to the back of this stuff, like to the backer paper. I mean, it's sticky, super sticky. 
Now here I am just going ahead and creating a cluster. The label I wanted to use was just a little bit too short to give me the look I wanted. So super easy trick is to cut your label and pull it apart and stick it to whatever is going on top of it. And there we go. And then I thought, you know what, I'm going to bring that little puffy pumpkin back on in here because I think it's really cute. Pretty sure that came from a freckled fawn uh, kit back in the day. Now that's where I rip another sticker. So I am just ripping things left and right now. And I don't, I don't even really bat an eye. I'm just like, no, nope, we're going to do this. So I trimmed off a little bit of that KI Memories blue curly thing because it was just too thick. It was layering on top of that wooden uh, glitter leaf as well. And I was like, no, 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 no. So when I put this label thing right back on that says the best of times, I decide to put it on top of some parts of the page and layer it underneath of the little curly cue. And I like that look. It gives it a little bit more texture. It gives it a little bit more cohesiveness, like everything was meant to go together right there. And it wasn't just me stacking things one on top of each other. Even though I dig the stacking things over top of each other look sometimes, this time I wasn't going for it. So now I'm just taking a peek, looking at the last things I have. I pull out another another one of those little cute pumpkins and I nestle that right in there. And then I grab some enamel dots. Now these are not my favorite enamel dots uh, because the size difference is not really pronounced and they're kind of larger, but I like the yellowy color. I thought it brought out the yellowy oxide uh, ink in the background. So I'm just going to sprinkle these about. Now some of them I cluster together where three are grouped together and some of them I'm kind of spacing them out like this over here. And I'm happy with it. Like I like the little pops of the bright yellowy color. It definitely pulls it from the background. So yeah, I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to check it out and see what else I need to do. And I decided I was going to just go ahead and add a little bit of sprinkles. And this is Heidi Swap Color Shine in Navy. And then I have a um, color theory, I think it is from oops, dropped it, but it's okay. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Color theory by Studio Calico, I think. So there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for checking out this video whoops had to add the date important important information is to have the date right um, that way i don't have to sit there and think okay what was this when did they make these pumpkins it wasn't this year was it that year and then i just wrote chloe and lana creates giving a nod to the title create and enjoy all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope that you will hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you like this video and I will catch you guys really soon in another video. Talk to you later.